Hi everyone, welcome to YouTube. Today I'm gonna explain you about the working of capacitor. So capacitor is the device which is used to store electric charges. So uh, first let me let me explain what is meant by capacitance. Uh, the capacitance C, sorry, the capacitance C of a conductor will be equal to the charge Q given to the conductor over the potential developed across the conductor. So the capacitance is equal to Q over V. Okay. So the unit of capacitance is Farad. Okay. Uh, the basic principle behind the working of capacitor is the electrostatic induction. So first uh, let me try to explain what is meant by electrostatic induction. So this is a neutral sphere. Neutral means that it has uh, equal number of uh, positive and negative charges. Like this. This metallic sphere has equal number of positive and negative charges so it's neutral. So if I uh, brought a charged plastic rod near to this this plastic rod is negatively charged if i bring this rod near this sphere so the positive charges are drifted towards this side an equal amount of negative charges are rippled towards the other side so this is basically due to the attraction repulsion between the electric charges so if I ground this negative charges then we will have the sphere we will have the sphere fully positively charged so we had acquired the charge from the neutral sphere to the positively charged sphere so this process is what called as electrostatic induction so it is a process of acquiring charges without any actual contact between any two objects actually there is no contact between this pair and the plastic rod okay so this ele electrostatic induction is the principle behind the working of capacitor so now let me construct a capacitor so uh, the capacitor consists of uh, two metal plates so this is the plate x and this is the plate y so these metal plates are uh, kept apart by a small distance d okay now uh, this plate x is uh, given the charge plus q the plate x is positively charged so the charge of this is given by q is equal to sigma cross a where uh, sigma is the surface charge density and uh, capital A is the area of this metal plate okay so if I brought this metal plate Y near this plate X an equal amount of negative charges are uh, induced on this side of the plate and uh, there will be an equal amount of positive charge in this side also so if I ground it I'll have this plate Y fully negatively charged so the due to these two charges uh, an electric field is confined between these plates that's given by capital E ok so now let me explain how to find the capacitance C of this conductor uh, we know that the capacitance C equal to Q over V and Q is equal to sigma A so, uh, we know that the electric field E is equal to the negative gradient of potential so in order to find the potential V we have to integrate potential V is equal to integration of minus E into dx so we know that the electric field at any point between the two charged plates is given by sigma by epsilon naught this is given by gauss law the electric field e is equal to 
sigma by epsilon naught so I'm gonna substitute this in this equation the ele electric potential V is equal to integration of the distance of separation as the limits is d to 0 minus sigma by epsilon naught into dx so if I integrate this I will get it as potential V is equal to sigma d by epsilon naught so now I got the potential V have to substitute this potential in this equation c is equal to q by v so we know that uh, the capacitance c is equal to the charge q over the potential v so we know that q is equal to sigma the linear charge density sorry surface charge density into the area a and we found that the potential v which is equal to sigma d by epsilon naught so I'm gonna substitute these two things in the capacitance C so C is equal to sigma A divided by sigma D by epsilon naught so this sigma will cancel each other so the capacitance C will be epsilon naught A divided by D so this gives the capacitance of the capacitor so uh, what I have shown here is an air filled capacitor so if the capacitor the, uh, the distance between the two plates is filled with some dielectric uh, which is usually an insulating material then the capacitance will uh, usually increases okay thank you for watching